Hi, welcome to learning about Ember JS controllers, views, and templates. Uh, I have built an app right now, and I'm going to show you what that app does. And uh, we are going to uh, build this app in the screencast so you can learn as to how it is done. So just to give you an overview of the app, it basically has uh, three routes. One is the index route, the crazy route, and the wow route. And you can see if I click on index, this is what I get. If I click on crazy, this is what I get. And on wow, you, I get a similar route. So one of the things uh, that you may want to uh, observe about this application is it's got the header area where it has this navigation. Then it has some uh, information view in the middle. And then there is a footer view. And uh, in the information view, there are two different views. One is called the left side and the right side. And I have set it up so that when I click my mouse uh, on the left hand side, it will create a new div and add uh, a, a star with a number. As you can see, it is happening over here. If I click on the right hand side, a similar thing would happen. It will create a div which has this information and it will create in there. So this is handled through views and templates and it is obviously getting the mouse click and handling it and I'll show you how it is done. Uh, if I look in the crazy uh, tab, uh, basically I have two input boxes, input name, uh, first name, last name and then there is a submit button which I can use. And also what I've done is from this tab, if I take a look at the last name, uh, that is also available in the next tab which is called the wow. For example, so the wow tab also has the same name, which is kind of filled in from this uh, area. So I can show you how it works. If say God two three four, if I go there, you can see it will going to change to God three three three. So this is uh, basically the app, and I'm going to show you how to kind of build this app from scratch. So the way I'm going to try to do is I'm going to go into app.js. Uh, file uh, which you uh, know that is needed and I'm going to delete all of this JavaScript code and when I delete all of this JavaScript code and try to run the app it is going to complain about some missing routes and missing information in the index.html and uh, what I'm going to do is basically delete all those things so we can uh, have a point from where we can start. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. So it says there is no route name crazy. Uh, so I'm going to do into index.html. Uh, basically look at the route uh, that is being used for crazy and just uh, delete it, the link. And then there should be a route, a template that is defined for crazy and I'm going to delete that. And uh, once I delete that, let's see what happens. Uh, then it complains there is no route named wow. So I'm going to go and delete, do the same thing with wow, delete the wow template and also the wow link in the navigation. And uh, let's see what else we need to delete. Uh, it says cannot read uh, property proto of undefined in some uh, area so i think it is related to these left and right views i'm going to try to delete those see what happens Okay, good. So now we have a starting point for this app and I'm going to basically uh, kind of walk you through a little bit as to what it is. So right now, if you look at the app, it basically has only the index. And uh, in this uh, area, I have say my name is, and it's going to fill in the name of the controller and then we got the footer. So if I look at the HTML, it's pretty straightforward. Um, basically this all portion is for styling and uh, that's all really there is. Uh, if I go to the left view, the one I showed you, which uh, shows up on the index, the left template, uh, basically it has a little handlebar uh, 
each helper which basically will check as to how many elements we have in an array and if we have those it creates a glyphicon with a star and a number next to it. Uh, if, if there is no such thing then it says sorry nobody is available yet. So that's one reason on the right one is basically used for code formatting. So I have some pre-formatted code and it's going to take whatever um, data I get from the JavaScript view in this case right. And the main reason we need to do this uh, in the view is because uh, typically in uh, straight HTML you can insert the JavaScript code by just saying script and all that but uh, you cannot insert uh, JavaScript code right inside uh, uh, handlebars uh, template so we need to be able to do that here is my application it's basically it's got a uh, link to index that's what you can see over here right now and whatever the index uh, uh, route uh, gives it, it can be shown in this outlet here, which is where the index outlet is. And the footer is just basically for styling, not anything going on. And if I look at the index, it basically is pretty straightforward. It says, Hi, my name is, and it's got a div styling, and it takes whatever the name is of the controller uh, on the model. So that's kind of uh, where we are. So let me, uh, what I've done is I have made it a little bit easier and made some preparation so I know uh, which step I can copy the code for. So I will copy the code for step one into app.js and I will uh, kind of walk you through it and see what it is. So uh, that's all I'm done. So if you look at it, it creates the application. It creates a router map for index. Index is basically mesh to slash and then it's got the route crazy and wow. Uh, it, it, it does create an amber uh, object uh, and I call it the app my object. This is an object available for the app route. Uh, the name of the op app I have put in there is called application object. Uh, left is essentially as I said is an array so it is a blank array right now and right is where the right side uh, is a string. In the model I basically only return app my object and I log it to the screen. And this uh, application controller uh, just is doing an init function to show that it's being initialized. It's not really required, but I'm just doing it uh, so I can see when the controller is initialized. So that's all we have done in step one. And let's see what happens. Uh, when I click on it here, the first thing you will observe is uh, we have this application object in yellow styling. And remember that was the name and uh, name of the uh, application object so we are able to get that application object in this view and uh, in the if you look in the console it says the application controller was locked so that's pretty much what uh, the step one is if i go into the second step so i'm going to copy the second step So in the second step, uh, we are going to essentially add the left view uh, where uh, it is uh, uh, part of this area where we have the left view and it calls a function when it's a click, it comes into this and uh, usually the way the Ember works is whenever the click event or some other event comes into the view, uh, you send it to the controller and uh, modify the name to something more logical. So I'm changing it like a turn it up event and uh, that's all this uh, left view is doing. So uh, let's see uh, what happens if I just did that. Uh, we also have to probably make sure that the left view is being called somewhere. So let me find out the HTML here and see where the left view is. Oh, here it is. As part of the index, I would like to add the left view. So in the HTML, where it will go. So uh, this is uh, basically saying I, I want to use the left view, whatever is returned from the left view in this portion of the index. So here, uh, which is very good, it says that sorry, nobody is available yet. And if I click on it, and uh, instead of adding the stars, you see a message which says basically, it says uncaught error, nothing handling the action, turn it up. 
and the reason it is happening this way because uh, when the view gets this message for click it sends it to the controller we will turn it up and uh, that is not being handled currently uh, another way to do is uh, typically what you want to do is look up uh, in the amber extension as to see what's going on so if i look at my left view i can see the controller is the amber object controller uh, that is being sent and uh, the model and the view left view is the view and you can see that information so next what i'm going to do is add the code uh, for that is in the index controller so that's like the step three so i'm going to copy the code in step three here into app.js if I copy the code uh, for the third step, then let's try this and keep our fingers crossed. So it says, sorry, nobody is available yet, which is basically uh, you see because we have in this view, uh, this handlebar where it says, if there is nothing in this left array, if there is something in the left array uh, as a div, it uh, shows that uh, one star. And if there is nothing available, then it says, sorry, nobody is available yet. So if I click on sorry nobody is available yet, here you can see that it adds an item zero. And if I click it again, it adds another item one. And the reason it is doing that is if you go into app.js, uh, if you look at my view controller, it got the click action. Uh, when it comes, it sends it to the turn it up, uh, which is on, on the controller and it increments the count. So this is where the count is being incremented. If I look at what the uh, controller is doing in turn and up, it's getting the model and on the model left, it pushes that object info on it. So now it is basically two elements in the array and that's how it is showing up. So that is working good. So let me go to the fourth step. Uh, fourth step is basically adding the right view. Uh, and right view is quite similar, but instead of having an array, it is just using a string. And I'll show you how that works. Uh, we need to make sure we add the right view. And this is uh, where we add the right view, the diff. So if I click on the right view, you can see it is adding a string saying this is on right 0, 1, 2 and stuff like that. And the reason it is doing is if I go in here, I look in the code for the right view, it's fairly straightforward. It gets the click and it's essentially uh, sends, turn it right and it makes a string. This is on right and it increments the count and sends it to the controller. And turn it right, action will come up here in the controller and it is setting this property right where it appends the string to it and that's why you are uh, essentially seeing the string being ended and you can see this is also still working so which is very good and now let me go to the fifth step fifth step is basically adding uh, the crazy uh, adding the crazy uh, route and I show you what it is doing uh, fifth step is uh, I have a little form view that has a button and uh, I'll show you on the HTML how it looks like and uh, there is this crazy object it has a name and a last name and a first name route is essentially model which is returning the crazy object and on the crazy controller there is an action submit data that is handling it and uh, you can see that the my form is uh, basically when you press the button it sends the submit button up. Uh, let me make sure that the my form is already there so you can see the template for my form is pretty much here all it is is an input text box for first name last name and there is a button action for submit data as well so let's see if uh, this will show up So I have to add in the HTML, the navigation, the index, 
on the side the index uh, going to the crazy and uh, that link so I'm going to go into that HTML add the link here and keep my fingers crossed and see how what happens so okay that's good so we got the crazy and when we click on crazy uh, it's going to do something and on the index it's there let me see why this view is not showing up on crazy Oh, we need the crazy template so we'll go into and I'll go and find the crazy template uh, from this oh, here it is so I'm going to copy this template and if you look at the crazy template uh, basically it says hi my name is this and view it shows the my form here so it says hi my name is crazy controller first name last name and you can see there is some important here as well and I can put in the last name here information so that's what it is doing and if I look at all of the views you can see that my form is also showing up here in the ember extension and you can see it is being controlled by the crazy controller so now let me go to the last step and last step is basically adding the wow uh, route which is uh, pretty much same as the crazy object with one slight difference and I'll sh show you so I have copied the crazy uh, controller all it is doing is uh, is doing the wow object name first name last a route is pretty much returning the model on the controller there is little bit uh, difference and all it is doing is because it's on a different tab I want to be make I want to be able to make sure that I can access in for the last name from the crazy tab so what I did was I say it needs crazy, it needs that crazy controller and uh, to get the model for the crazy it uses this uh, essentially the way for Amber it says this dot get controllers crazy model and it gets that value and it sets the model on the wow the last name to be the same as this and that's all it is really doing and in the index obviously we have to add the link to the wow I'm going to do that I have uh, added the link to the wow and then we need to get the wow template wow template is pretty much similar to the crazy template and uh, here it is and hi it will show you the name of the wow controller so if i click on this now again now okay i see the index wow and if i click on this you can see it says hi my name is wow controller if i look at the views uh, here it is the wow controller so if you just want to see the app this is the index controller i click on this add some stuff add some stuff go into crazy fill in the last name the first name and then go to wow and you can see the last name should be filled up i'm not sure what's going on okay here it is i have to click on it one time to see it there may be a bug i have to fix but you can see if we go to index it's all there crazy it goes there wow it goes there so i'm showing you how it is easy it is to create controllers and um, get it mapped to the various routes in uh, various templates how to create a view to handle button input and also mouse input or any other input and how the controller can take this action and act upon it uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this and if you want to learn more you can go to my website and the easiest way to find my website if you don't remember just type in raw associates if you type in raw associates on google or bing it should take you to my website uh, if you just want to learn about ember you can just click on the ember tab and you can uh, f uh, see some videos for Ember and some books. And uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a great day.